In this video, I am going to show you step-by-step -step how you can use Klaviyo for email marketing. We will integrate Klaviyo with Shopify and walk you through the entire process of setting up this tool. Let's get started. First of all, we need to install Klaviyo into our Shopify store. To do that, click on Apps on the left and then search for Klaviyo. Now, click on this Klaviyo app, which will take you to the Shopify app store. As you can see, Klaviyo offers a free plan for beginners. So click on this install button to add this on your store. Then again, click on the install button to fully install this app. Once you do that, you'll be taken to the Klaviyo website where you need to create a Klaviyo account to connect with Shopify. You need to enter your email and password here. Next, in the company name, you can add your Shopify store name and in the company website, add your Shopify store link. You also need to add your phone number here. Then you can check this box if you want the latest updates and consultation from the Klaviyo team. Then fill this CAPTCHA and then click on the Get Started button. Now Klaviyo will take a moment to connect with your Shopify store. You only need to click on this Continue button and wait for a few seconds. Next, you need to confirm the sender email. We recommend that you add a business email here, which will not only increase your email deliverability rate, but also avoid your emails from getting into spam folders as well. Next, it will ask you how you want to reach your subscribers. For now, I will select the email option. But keep in mind that you can use this tool for SMS marketing as well. All right, now Klaviyo will send a verification link to your email. You only need to open your email and then confirm it to fully activate your account. And then you'll be taken to the Klaviyo dashboard. From here, you'll be able to manage your entire email marketing operations. We only need to follow this checklist to set up our Klaviyo account. We've already connected our Klaviyo account with our Shopify store. So the next step for us is to turn on the website tracking option. Here, you only need to click on this turn on button, which will take you to this page. Then again, click on this black button. This will take you to our online store editor. On the left-hand side, you need to make sure that the Klaviyo option is enabled. And then click on this Save button on the top right. Once it's done, click here to return to your Klaviyo dashboard. This is the Klaviyo dashboard which will help you track and manage your email campaigns and workflows. On the left-hand side, you'll see this Get Started option. This is where you'll find the checklist. The next step on the list is to set up your email subscribers list. So click on this Setup button. Here you need to select your main email list. All your subscribers will be added to this email list. By default, the email list is named as Newsletter. You can rename it from this Rename option. Then click on this Next button. Here, you need to select the opt-in settings. You'll have two options here, double opt-ins and single opt-ins. I personally prefer the double opt-in setting for my email list, and I will recommend the same to you. Next, you need to set up your double opt-in email. This is basically a confirmation email that your subscribers will receive after they sign up for your email list. When the person confirms the email, only then they'll be added to the email list. This double opt-in is really helpful to prevent invalid emails and keep the email list clean and active. To edit this email, you need to click on Edit Email button. So this is the default email from Klaviyo. We have the heading at the top. Next, we have this confirmation button. When you click on it, you'll see the editing options on the left. You can change the button text from here. Next, you can change the color of this button to match your brand color. Next, we also have the paragraph. You can change it as per your need. Next, click on the success page option on the top. So, whenever a person will click on the confirmation button, this message will appear on his screen. You can see the entire system on the top. First, we have the subscribe page, then we have the confirmation page, and then the double opt-in followed by the success message. You can edit every part of it, and once you're done, click on this publish button, and then you can exit this page using this exit button. Next, we'll again go to this checklist. The next step on our list is to import our existing email subscribers. Since we don't have any email subscribers yet, I will skip this part. All right, the next step on the list is to set up your brand library. 
Here, you need to confirm your logo, brand colors, and creative assets to apply to your emails. And when you click on this blue text, it will open up a complete guide on how to prepare the assets for your emails. I recommend that you once read this entire guide. Next, click on this Build Brand Library button. Now be careful, because the information you'll enter here will appear in all your emails. This is an example email. And on the left-hand side, you can upload your brand logo. Make sure to upload a transparent logo in this part. This will appear at the top of your email. And don't focus on this email too much, as this is just for an example. Next, on the left side, you'll see these options, such as header links, social icons, etc. You can add your social media handles on this social links section so that it'll appear on all of your emails. As you can see, as soon as I entered my Twitter handle, the icon of Twitter appeared at the bottom of this example email. Similarly, you can add as many social media links you want to. Next, we also have the header links option here. This is generally used to highlight the latest deals and discounts that are currently going on in your store. For example, I can add something like, get a 10% discount on your next order. And then on the link, I can add a specific product or collection link. This will going to appear on all of your next emails. Next, you'll also see the font option here, which will let you decide the font of your emails. We also have the image tab, where you can add some images and GIFs related to your brand. All right, the next step on our list is to create a welcome email series. This will be a series of emails that will be sent to your new subscribers on automation. You only need to set this once, and then whenever someone joins or sign up on your website, they'll start getting emails from this series. And the best part is that you don't have to create this automation by yourself. You only need to answer some simple questions, and Clavio AI will create an email automation for you. So click on this Create button now. Here, we need to create our email automation. The first part of any automation is the trigger, which basically means an action that'll start this workflow for our subscribers. On the right side, we need to select an email list in which this workflow will trigger. I'll select the newsletter list where all of our new subscribers will be added. Then click on this next button. Here, we can add a coupon code for our new subscribers. That way, whenever someone joins our email list, we can send them a coupon code that'll give them a discount on their order. You can also select different conditions. Based on your choices, Clavio AI will create this automation. For now, I will choose the first option, which will provide a coupon to all of our new subscribers. Next, I'll have to select a coupon code. I will choose a static coupon code option and then just type in a coupon code which will give my subscribers a flat 10% discount on their first order. Next, we can add more messages in this welcome email series. We can send a coupon reminder email to those who haven't used our coupon yet. Next, we can ask them to follow us on our social media handles, and we can also share some of our best selling products in our emails. These emails will engage your customers with your brand and will also generate some sales for you. So, click on this next button now, and then click on this continue button. And within a few moments, Clavio AI will create a complete welcome email series for you. Now we only need to edit these emails and our automation will be set up within a few minutes. When you click on these emails, you'll see some editing options on the right. This is where you can make all your changes. When you scroll down, you'll see this email template. And when you click on this edit button, it will take you to the welcome email that was created by Clavio AI. Clavio uses simple email structures. First, we have a heading and paragraph. Then we have the coupon code and call to action here. Let's say that you want to change this image. To do that, click on the image and then on the left-hand side, you'll see the editing options. You can remove this image and then upload your own image here. You can also add your own products here. And then there are some other editing options as well. Feel free to play around with these different options and you'll get used to this in no time. And make sure to preview the email on both devices to check if everything is working fine. And once you're done, click on this exit button on the top right to get back to the workflow editor. Next, you can change this email status from draft 
to active. Next, you'll see this delay block where you can manage the delay between your emails. You can increase or decrease this delay based on your requirements. Next up, we have the conditional split option. This is an important one because it will send emails based on our subscribers' past actions. For example, in the first step, we are going to send them a coupon code, and then we have this delay. Now, based on the subscriber's actions, they'll be split into two categories. First are the ones who actually bought something using the coupon, they'll be part of the first category, and we will not send them any email. In the second category, we have those who haven't used the coupon. We can set a reminder email to those people and encourage them to take action. And just like we edited the first email, you can make changes on this one too. Next, we have another three days delay on our workflow, and then we are sending another email, which will encourage our subscribers to follow us on our social media. You can preview these emails by selecting them and then going to the templates part on the right. Lastly, we have the best seller email, which can be used to showcase our best selling products. This is another very important email, so make sure to edit this email as per your need and then make sure to change the email status as well. Then you can click on this exit button to get back to the Clavio dashboard. Now, in the dashboard, you'll see these different automation recommendations from Clavio. Apart from the welcome series, I recommend that you also set up this abandoned cart automation and the customer thank you automation. These are really important ones and can significantly increase your store sales. And to make your work easier, I've created complete email templates just for these steps. I will leave this template link in the description below so that you can use them on your own email workflows. And with this final step, our setup checklist is also complete. So let's go to our homepage now. And now I'm going to show you how you can send email campaigns to your subscribers using Clavio. In the campaign section, click on this send a campaign button. Next, you need to select your campaign name, date, and type of campaign. Here, you need to select your campaign recipients. Basically, you need to select the email list you want to send this campaign to. And if you want to exclude any email list, you can choose it here. And then click on this Continue button. Okay, now you need to create your email. So, enter a subject line for your email here. And then you need to select a design option for your email. Here. We have three options to design our emails. We can either use the drag and drop builder, or we can use the text editor or code option. For now, I will use the drag and drop editor. This will take us to the Clavio template library, where we can choose one of these pre-made templates for our emails. On the left-hand side, you'll have an option to filter out the templates based on different seasons. When you click on any template, you'll be able to preview it on both mobile and desktop mode. And if you like the template, you can click on Use Template button to further customize it. This will take you to the Campaign Editor, where you can change the look and feel of this template. First of all, make sure to delete any unnecessary elements from this template. Next, let's say that I want to edit this image. When I click on this image, I'll have some editing options on the left side. Next, you'll see some elements on the left menu, which you can simply add into this template. You can add texts, images, buttons, and much more. You can even add your products on your email. And then simply change the text and images as we showed you earlier. And once you're done, you can click on this exit button to get back to the campaign settings. Next, click on this continue button. And lastly, you only need to review your campaign settings here. Once it's done, click on this schedule button to schedule your campaign. You can also directly send it if you want to, but I recommend that you schedule it to a specific time and send all your email campaigns on that specific time. All right, we've successfully created our campaign now. And with this step, our setup is almost complete. Now, we only need to create a sign-up form, which will help us to collect email subscribers. On this left menu, you'll see this sign-up form option. Here, click on this Get Started button. Next, select your email list here and then click on this Next button. Next, you need to select your sign-up form type. I personally recommend using the pop-up form as it has the best conversion rate. 
Next, it will ask you whether you want to include a teaser or not. I recommend that you enable it. Next, you need to choose whether you want to include a coupon code or not. Since we've already set up the coupon code in the welcome email automation, we don't need to do it here again. Next, you need to choose a layout for your form. There are four different layouts available here, so choose the one that fits your needs. I personally like to keep it as simple as possible. Next, click on this edit form button to make changes to this form. And just like we edited the previous templates and sample emails, you can edit this one too. Now let's say I want to add the name option on this form as well. To do that, I will go to add blocks option, and then I will simply drag and drop this text input field. Next, we only need to change this placeholder text, and we are good to go. In the profile property settings, select the first name option, and then check this box as well. And then click on this publish button. If you want to add more steps on this form, you can do it by going through this step button. But for now, we will keep it simple and easy. And then click on this exit button to get back to your Clavio dashboard. And with this step, our Clavio setup is finally complete. Now, we only need to visit our online store and check if the signup form is properly working or not. So let's go to our online store now. Now we need to scroll down a little and as you can see, the sign-up form is visible here and properly working as well. You can enter a sample email and name in this field and further check your entire automation. Now, if I click on this No Thanks button, the sign-up form will get minimized and stick to the bottom left of the store. People can easily access the form from here whenever they want to sign up. And this is basically everything you need to learn about Clavio Email Marketing Tool. If you just follow the steps that I mentioned in this video, you'll be able to automate your entire store. Make sure to use the email templates that I have given in the video description. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video.